In this video, we'll explore what blockchain is, how it relates to Bitcoin, its core elements, key applications, and the challenges it faces. Blockchain is a decentralized digital public ledger designed to maintain a continuously growing list of data transaction records within its network. Each transaction on a distributed ledger is verified through consensus, requiring approval from the majority of participants in the network. This happens on a decentralized network, where control, decision-making, and data management are distributed across multiple nodes. Once a transaction is approved, the information is permanently stored and cannot be altered. The ledger is accessible to all participants in the network. Every node that joins a blockchain system receives this ledger and helps validate transactions. As a result, each transaction is shared and the same data is replicated across all nodes in the system. Now, imagine trying to alter this list. You would need to modify it on every single node in the system, and even then, the changes would still require validation from the network. This makes unauthorized modifications virtually impossible. This immutability makes blockchain a trusted and secure platform for individuals and organizations to exchange data and assets, collaborate, and conduct transactions. Blockchain is often associated with a cryptocurrency Bitcoin, which relies on this underlying technology. Bitcoin was introduced in 2008 when the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto published the white paper, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Nakamoto's identity remains unknown, and it's unclear if they are an individual or a group. The Bitcoin software and network launched in January 2009 with the creation of the first block known as the Genesis block. In the white paper, Nakamoto described blockchain as a series of blocks containing information. Each block typically includes transaction data, a timestamp, its own hash, and a hash pointer linking it to the previous block. Hashes are crucial for blockchain security, acting like fingerprints that uniquely identify each block and its contents. A hash is a fixed-length output generated from input data using a hash function, producing a seemingly random sequence of characters. Here is a sample hash value generated by the SHA-256 algorithm. This method is widely used in cryptography, data integrity checks, and database indexing. Even a minor change in input leads to a vastly different hash value. Thus, blocks are linked together in a chain with each block containing the hash of the previous one. Aside from Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies are Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, and Binance. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized digital currencies that operate on a public blockchain and aim for transparency, security, and freedom from central authority. They use cryptography to secure and verify transactions in a network. Cryptography is also used to manage and control the creation of such currencies. The term digital currency refers to a form of currency that is available only in digital or electronic form. These currencies may not be used by all countries or communities. Cryptocurrencies eliminate the need for intermediaries like banks and governments. They allow direct peer-to-peer -peer transactions, lending and borrowing without the geographical or socioeconomic barriers present in conventional banking. However, it should be emphasized that cryptocurrencies are a byproduct of blockchains, and blockchains are able to exist independently of any cryptocurrencies. Traditional financial systems differ from cryptocurrency as they operate on a centralized network, where a single authority controls and manages data and resources, unlike the centralized nature of cryptocurrencies. An example of digital currency that utilizes centralized networks is central bank digital currencies. CBDCs are regulated digital currencies issued by the central bank of a country. It can be a supplement or a replacement for a traditional fiat currency. Unlike fiat currency, which exists in both physical and digital form, a CBDC exists purely in digital form. Over 130 countries are now experimenting with CBDCs. For example, the People's Bank of China is testing the digital yuan for retail transactions across Chinese localities. Sweden's Riksbank developed the e-krona 
to provide a secure and efficient payment system. In September 2023, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas revived its CBDC project now called Project Aguila to facilitate various financial transactions. Another example that may use centralized networks is virtual currency. It can serve not just as a medium of exchange but also as tools for engagement, loyalty, and community building. Virtual currencies are controlled by developers or a founding organization consisting of various stakeholders involved in the process. For example, in Roblox, players use Robux to purchase in-game upgrades and items, managed by Roblox developers. Facebook stars are used within the Facebook ecosystem to support creators and are controlled by Facebook. Shopee coins are earned and used with the Shopee platform for discounts and promotions. Blockchain technology has the following core elements. Distributed database. The data is not controlled by any single computer. The complete database, including its history, is available to each node on a network. Participants can by themselves validate the records of each transaction. Peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Peers communicate directly with each other rather than through a central authority and each node keeps and forwards data to all other nodes. Transparency with pseudonymity. Transactions can be made by any allowed node. Each node can keep its identity anonymous. Immutability of records. When a transaction is recorded, its information is immutable since it is chained to all previous transactions. Digital currency as payment transactions is an example application of blockchain technology. When user X wants to transfer money to user Y, the transaction is grouped with other transactions to form a block. This block is transmitted to nodes across the blockchain's peer-to-peer -peer network, where the nodes verify its validity. Miners on the network compete to solve a cryptographic puzzle, a process called mining. The first miner to solve it gets rewarded. Once a valid solution is found, the block is added to the blockchain. This blockchain is an immutable, transparent ledger of all transactions. Other applications may come from the following areas. Blockchain can improve land registration by reducing intermediaries, minimizing fraud, and speeding up the process. Land details like physical status and ownership rights can be securely recorded and published on the blockchain. Signers can authenticate documents and users can verify them as needed. Blockchain can enhance education by securely storing data such as grades, skills, research, and learning experiences. Each user's unique ID matched with their educational information in the blockchain, which is verified by global miners, ensuring immutability and trustworthiness. Blockchain can be used for patient data management. It can securely store and share digital data among patients, doctors, healthcare providers, pharmacies, insurers, and researchers. Blockchain in banking offers decentralized trust, enhanced security, lower costs, and improve efficiency. Blockchain can reduce banking transaction processing time from days to seconds, improves real-time payments, and supports 24-7 operations. While blockchain has great potential, several challenges must be addressed for widespread adoption. Scalability issues As transaction volume increases, the blockchain also grows larger, requiring every node to store the entire transaction history for validation. Limitations on block size and the time between new blocks hinder the ability to process millions of transactions in real-time. Regulatory Uncertainty The evolving regulatory landscape creates uncertainty for businesses and developers. While blockchain itself is secure, vulnerabilities in related applications can expose users to hacking risks. Clear regulations are essential for responsible development and safe operation complexity barriers. The intricate concepts of blockchain can be challenging for the average person to grasp. Effective adoption requires a solid understanding of encryption and distributed ledger technology, which can be a barrier to potential users. Privacy risks. Transaction data on the blockchain is publicly accessible, raising privacy concerns, especially in sensitive areas like government and healthcare. To protect sensitive information, Access to the ledger should be restricted to authorized individuals in high privacy sectors. Costly Blockchain implementation is costly and resource-intensive. 
as each node must perform redundant tasks to achieve consensus. The need for specialized, energy-consuming hardware adds to the expense, making adaption challenging for both government and private entities. We've reached the end of this video on blockchain technology. I hope it gives you a clear understanding of blockchain, its connection to Bitcoin, core elements, key applications, and the challenges it faces. If you found this helpful, please like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, and consider subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching.